We're back out here on the Mississippi Acres map, and no, this is not the same shirt. I have a shirt that's very similar to this, except for it's a Nike. This is an H&M shirt. Anyways, we're going to be hunting for a quail and raccoon today with the 22 Hornet and the 20 gauge semi-automatic shotgun. All right, we just jumped up our first raccoon. It looks like kind of a blonde colored raccoon. We got the 22 Hornet, and Chance is right on his tail as well. So we're going to pull up quick and... Take a nice shot right to the butt, which should eventually bring it down. Not a perfect shot, but you know what? It's definitely... Ooh, that would have been an awesome shot if we could have pulled that one off there. If I could put one more into it, it would be very, very helpful. But like I said, one shot will take it down. I'm trying to figure out what is up with this raccoon. Did we get intestine? No organs hit. Okay. So we should really put another good hit into it. All right, that'll take it down. I was trying to hold lower, but I was completely out of breath because we were running through here, chasing down this raccoon for a little while. And uh, we jumped up another one right there. I just saw it trotting through right about there. See if we can't keep an eye on him. All right, I lost sight of him, but we're gonna pick this one up first and then we'll go over there and pick up our second raccoon. Where's he at, Chance? Where's he at, buddy? Light him up. Ooh, right there. It's a freaking albino. It's an albino. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my God, we got an albino and we smoked it. <laughs> Our second raccoon of the hunt and we smoked a freaking albino. <laughs> Wow, what are the odds of that? Back-to-back -back raccoons. Heck yeah, good job, Chance. That's not the one that we just shot. This is actually the first one here. And um, a 4.3 blonde ended up getting a uh, hind leg shot and whatever. That doesn't matter. But over here, we got an albino rare raccoon down. All of a sudden, I saw it running and I'm like, what the heck is that? I couldn't quite make it out. It almost looked like it was some kind of a snowshoe hare or something, but... No, it's definitely a rare albino raccoon, and we took him down with a 22 Hornet. Heck yeah, there it is. A 4.5 made a running liver left lung shot at 42 yards out, and a rare albino raccoon. She's definitely getting mounted and going straight to our lodge. Man, she's going to look incredible. And what an awesome shot we pulled off on that as well. 42 yards on the run. Whew. One shot brought her right down. So in case you want to know where we're hunting today, we're hunting on the very north end of the map by Punala here. And we started over here at Traveler's Bunk East Outpost. We're heading north and we're heading west along the edge of this field here. And we're going to hunt this whole area up here. We just got eyes on another raccoon. It's a female and she's about 150 yards out. So we'll zero in for 160 and see if we can't pull off this shot. Put it right on the back of the neck and it looked like a pretty good shot. So it should take her down. But if we get a follow-up, that would definitely help. Alright, I don't think that's going to help too much. <laughs> there we go! That'll help! That will definitely help. Okay, so we got two into her. And that will definitely bring her down. But it's going to take quite a while. Because I do believe that the longer the distance you're shot the less impact your bullet's gonna have on the raccoon, so it's gonna take a lot longer for it to go down. All right, Chance, it's all you, buddy. It's all you. We got some blood right there. Definitely not very good blood, but that's why we got you. Because <laughs> it'd be very difficult to find this blood without you, that's for sure. Surprisingly, this raccoon has yet to go down, but Chance is still on him. We're hot on his trail. Well, we were until he just got hurt all of a sudden. Oh, he got scared of the raccoon. It's okay, buddy. We'll protect you. Don't worry. We'll protect you. He got all sad. Look at He went in, in uh, critical position as soon as he heard the raccoon calling. Don't you worry. I'll get him, buddy. Don't you worry. You stay right there. I'll get him. You did a good job and led us right to him. Now we just got to find him. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Nothing worse than a mean old wounded raccoon. Oof. 
I see it right there, but barely. It jumped up super low to the ground, so I'm trying to keep an eye on it to where we can get to a spot and actually get a decent shot on it without losing it in this grass. Like I just did, almost. No, where did it go? Oh, it's right there. It's literally like two feet in front of me here. It can't run that fast because it's already hit. There we go. That should help take it down. I mean, we already hit it twice, so I can't believe that it's still running. All right, Chance, help us out now. There's no way I missed. And I lost it. Tell me we got blood, Chance. Please tell me we got blood. Yes, we got blood. We definitely got some blood. All right. That's a little better. What happened now, Chance? Okay, good. He was just taking a little breather. Just taking a little breather is all. All right. I think he found him. Good job, buddy. Good job. Now, I'm very curious. Like, how many times did we hit this raccoon? How many times? First off, we got to do something here. Good boy. Thanks for the help. Yeah, you got all scared when we found that raccoon, didn't you? But guess what? You didn't back down. And that's all that matters. Okay. Let's grab this raccoon. We hit this thing three times. 160 yards, 217 yards, and 17 yards. And it finally brought it down, but barely. Barely. That first shot right there. I'm not even going to talk about what should have happened with that first shot right there. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I mean, my 17 HMR, that thing would have crumbled right there. It wouldn't even move. It would have just flopped right over. You would have hit spine, double lung, and liver, and potentially even intestine from that angle. But here, we got flesh. That's it. That's all I'm going to say. All right, buddy. What do you say? Let's try and jump up a couple of quail since we're out here. That'd be kind of cool. There's quail and raccoon, as well as a bunch of feral pigs out here, too. All right, so we just got a warning call from the quail. We know they're definitely in here. They're gonna be about 150 yards in front of us here. We're gonna take it slow and lay low to the ground and try and get as close as we can. And then we're gonna try and flush them. Man, they really are good at hiding in this stuff. You would think you'd be able to see them in here, but you really can't. Not until you're right on top of them. Nonetheless, we're gonna have our 20 gauge ready. So when they jump up, We'll be ready. Come on, Chance. All right, they should be pretty close. I hear them. I feel like we should jump up. Let's see where they are. Thing is, you never know where they're at until you get close to them and they jump up. But sometimes they jump up far. Sometimes they jump up close. Sometimes they just don't even jump up. Yeah, like right here. They never even jumped up. They should have jumped up. Why didn't they jump up? Oh, now they're going to jump up. How in the heck did I just miss those shots? Oh, I was zeroed in for 20. That could be why. Okay, reload. I'm starting to suck right now for some reason. Come on, aim. All right, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. And that's what I'm talking about. All right. <laughs> Missed three times and then didn't miss three times. All right, Chance. Let's uh, try and find some of these here. We got one right here. And there was a female, but she was actually about to land. I mean, I couldn't even hit them when they were trying to land. <laughs> What do you got? Where are they at? Where are they at, buddy? Ooh, lots of hunting pressure. Lots and lots of hunting pressure. Where are you, Chance? I can't even see you. Where the heck are you? Oh, there you are. I'm like, I hear you barking, but I can't find out where you're at. Good job. There you go. Out a boy. Out a boy. There we go. Nice meal. 175, red brown. Left lung shot at 13 yards out. That is when we started actually aiming. <laughs> Another one down right here, 192, and I'm in the right lung as well, 17 yards out. 
And I think we got a couple more. I think we got like five or six, to be honest. What do you got, buddy? For sure we hit one that sailed way off over here. Oh, we got a call from a white tail. Looks like just a doe. Yeah, just one doe. Oh, 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 oh. You find him? Good job. Good job. Oop, more quail. All right, so oh, we might oh, actually stay oh, low oh. so we can swing back around here. One BB took oh, that one down oh, at 22 oh, yards. Oh. I'm not very proud of that shot, I'll tell you that. <laughs> 22 yards, there should be like 10 BBs into that thing. Anyways, we're going to go over here now and try and flush up the southern male. And I do believe we sailed one more that went off into this woods. Ooh, we actually got a buck out there now. Last time there was a doe calling, all of a sudden I looked and we got a decent buck out there. 150 yards out, right in that cotton field there. Now, if we slid over a little bit, we should be able to get a lung shot on that nice buck. And I have a 303 on us as well. Of course, the quail are gonna call right now. All right, I don't love that. Okay, that, that'll work. Smoked him. He's gonna pile up right on the road. Oh my god, imagine. Is that another buck? Another buck! Oh my god, a giant buck! Where the heck did he come from? Oh! I thought we smoked that second buck. And all of a sudden, there was a freaking giant in the back. Well, I haven't seen that buck yet. And we've been sitting here for about 10 minutes now. No sign of him. So we're going to grab this quail and we're going to head on over there. Pulled off a 32 yard shot and hit it one time in the back of the wing. A 205.20. Pretty decent sized quail there. But we're going to work our way over here and see if we can't figure out where this big buck went. Man, he's big. He's got to be over in that thick brush right there somewhere. All right, so we got two bucks down here. One's right here. We definitely hit the second buck and it's gonna take it down as well. He's a good buck though. Don't get me wrong. A 199.9 gold and we smoked him in the left lung at 258 yards. So yeah, definitely a beautiful buck, but he's nowhere near the buck that we're about to find. What do you got there, Chance? What do you got there? I don't know. All of a sudden I went over there and he just started hauling. Oh, there we go. That's actually pretty good blood. What are medium? So we must have got either vertebrae or intestine. Nonetheless, he's down right here. Yeah, because he was so far out that, man, I was literally holding in front of his chest. And we hit him in the back hind quarter and caught intestine on him at 250. But a 180.5, a real decent buck. Okay, now we got to find that big one. We got to find him. All right, we got some more rain and we're getting a call from a deer, which if there's a doe out there, that's our buck. That's definitely our buck. Look at his rack. Big old white tail. Ooh, that's not going to do us much good. Sit down, Chance. Sit down, buddy. Sit down. Heart shot. Straight to the chest. I believe that should be our buck. Yeah, it was definitely him. All right, let's go get him, Chance. Yeah, I mean, if you're shooting a 303 and you got a buck within 200 yards looking directly at you, you're putting it on his chest and you're squeezing that trigger. And that's exactly what we just did. And that's exactly what we just did. All right, let's go find him, Chance. He should be piled up. Well, then, am I blind? Like, what the heck is going on here, Chance? Oh, <laughs> he's back here a little bit further. I was like, uh, okay, then I definitely saw him fall over. And yeah, that's our buck. We got him, guys. A beautiful white tail buck down. Man, look at the points on that thing. What an incredible white tail down right there. Let's pick him up. That's going to be a 222.30. And how in the heck do we hit him in the spinal cord? 
Oh. Well, at least we got him. He's a beautiful buck, but he's not quite as big as I thought. I thought he was like a 230, 240s, but a 222 and we dropped him. So either way, you know, like I said, in real life, if I took that shot and he'd piled up like that, I'd be pretty pumped. Well, I'm not exactly sure if it's it or not, but we just got a warning call from a male raccoon right down over there. Man, he's got to be close. Very old. That's the only thing that has me a little bit concerned about this. Is the fact that this track keeps saying very old. I have yet to have even a fresh track from this raccoon. We jumped up something right there. You're telling me I missed him twice? No, uh-uh, uh-uh. All right, let's find this big raccoon. I've been after him for quite a while now and I've yet to even get a decent shot at him. Now that's not him, but it is a raccoon and we did hit it. So that's cool. But that's our fox. No shot, no shot, no shot. Come on. That's a shot. That is definitely a shot. And another fox. Where'd he come from? Hit that fox as well. Well, they both look good, but probably not. Anyways, I keep getting distracted. I want to find that raccoon. Well, we got something. We got honey pressure. I bet we smoked that first fox. Because we got blood over here from something. Really good blood here from something. So that means... Means I'm getting too distracted here. Alright, I found something laying here. It's a fox. Let's pick it up. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. A big old gold gray gray fox. A right lung shot at 140 yards on the trot. What a perfect shot. 5.5 gold. Beautiful gray gray fox. Well, we got a white tail buck out here and I couldn't find that raccoon. So we're going to take him down. He's a good buck. He's right there at about 60 yards out. I'm not sure if there's another buck with him or just that one right there. Nonetheless, I think we might take him out right there. Yeah, well, that's not really another buck. I mean, it is, but definitely doesn't count as much of one. So we'll take a heart shot on him and take him down real quick. Yeah, I've uh, just about had it with this raccoon. Just about had it with him. So I figured we'd take down a nice buck with a perfect heart shot and a 79. Ooh, got a decent pig crossing out there at about 250. We could potentially take a shot. Friggin' smoked him. <laughs> and another heart shot. Wow. This 303 never lets me down. And there's a raccoon! There's a raccoon! Sucker just came hauling out of there. Tell me you're going down. Tell me you're going down. Oh, I ran into the brush. Well, it's not our big four, but it's a decent three. Where'd it go? There it is. There it is. Oof. Can't imagine you're going far after that. Yeah, I didn't think so. That's going to take him down. I think we got a non-vital hit there, guys. That will definitely take him down. So we'll get over there in a second and track him down. 
But first, we're going to go over here and grab these wild hogs. All right, here's the second one down right here. 81 pulled off a neck shot at 240. And then this one right here is the one that we should have made. A nice double lung shot. And it's going to be a gold, a 101.10 dark brown gold. Double lunged him at 240 yards and just absolutely smoked that wild hog. Perfect. All right, we're going to call from what should be potentially... Oh, right there, right there. Raccoon coming at us, coming at us. We got to try and cut him off. He's going hard left. He's going hard left. This is our chance. Um, looks like it didn't go very far at all because we did in fact get a non-vital hit right there. And our raccoon is piled up right here and it's going to be... An 8.2 silver, just shy of being a gold, but we only hit it one time, apparently. I thought I shot twice at it, but apparently the first shot didn't do much. 56 yards out, spinal cord intestine. All right, guys, well, that's going to be it for this video. We had a lot of fun hunting raccoons, but honestly, these raccoons are way too difficult to track. I mean, I feel like I could track down a freaking diamond mule deer way easier than a level 3 raccoon, which... Makes absolutely no sense to me. So yeah, it's very, very difficult to try and hunt these during the day, which is why most people would probably hunt them at night. But the thing is, I really want to hunt them during the day. And also I wish we could get dogs that could help us track them during the day as well. But anyways, that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.